Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 sequestration modeling with CMG software. And we used a gem to simulate the CO2 sequestration. And in the last episode, we have run the gem for the case of this one, CO2 injection and we enable the hysteresis trapping as well as solubility trapping. Okay, so here we have the, the dot .sr3, the extension is sr3. So I will drag this file and put on the results and we can visualize the results, which is the result from the gem computation. Okay, and later on we can also compare it with the result from the case of only solubility trapping with, I mean, only hysteresis or residual trapping without solubility trapping. Okay, so let's check the result. Okay, so this is the file, CO2 injection, underscore hysteresis and solubility. So of course, in this file, in this case, we already include the structural trapping of course, and we also enable the hysteresis trapping. And the, the new thing is here, the new thing here is the solubility trapping. Okay, so let's check this is the aerial view or two dimensional view. Okay, this is the aerial view, IK 2D view and JK 2D view. I'm going to go to here and this is the location of our co2 injector go to display okay we are currently by the way looking at the 3d view and we can visualize many parameters but i'm interested in let's say let's check the gas saturation first okay so let's just click on okay so you can see we inject CO2 here and the gas saturation increases significantly at the top. Of course, due to buoyancy, CO2 will move up. Okay, CO2 will move up to the top section of the reservoir. Okay, we have very long period of CO2 injection or you know, CO2 injection plus observation. So you can see this is a very good inter good case so that we can monitor what happened after 100 years. And I don't know, let's, let's just wait till the end of the simulation. Okay. And we can also switch to, for example, let's check the pressure. What happened to the pressure? Okay, seems like no change, yeah, because the, you know, the scale also you need to adjust. But let's check now the water mole fraction you see there, right? So here, because we enable solubility trapping, now water can be dissolved into, I mean, now the CO2 can be dissolved into the water. So water now will contain CO2 and we represent the, the fraction of the CO2 inside the water by this parameter, water mole fraction. Okay, and of course now, water now has CO2 inside it. CO2 now is dissolved within the water and the water that contains soluble CO2 will have higher density okay that's why co2 that's why the, the shape is like this okay or maybe it's better if i also show you the water mass density here okay so water that contains co2 will be heavier that's why here at the top you see, water goes down. It's it's like raining, right? Because now here, right? 
right here water will go down because now it's denser it's heavier because it contains soluble co2 okay so what's the let's play with property filter maybe maximum to be let's say minimum what happened right it's like this the shape is like this let's go back to 900 okay maybe Okay. Okay. And what else? We can also go back to water mole fraction, right? Still, we are still calculating. It's very good. 